Alden, uh, can I just say that um, I can totally feel my nostalgia coming back to me here. It's been so long since I've played uh, this game. It's a 2004 Nintendo. I think I was like 10 years old when this game came out. Sorry, just gotta lower the game's volume a bit. It seems really, really loud on my ears. There we go. Well, yeah, as I was saying, it seems like my nostalgia is really starting to flood back to me right now. It's been so long since I've played this game. <clears throat> Officially, this was like my second Metroid game I ever played. My first one being like Metroid Prime. And this one being my second one. I can't... I'm not like... I'm not someone here who's like here to speed run the game or anything like that because I am not that good. But I'm just going to play this for fun because I really, 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 really miss this game. And I've been really feeling like playing it for a while. God, I love this whole game, man. This is a game that really started to let me understand what the Metroid series is all about. Because, like, Metroid Prime is a great game. But, like, it's not... It's a first-person game, so it doesn't have the same elements that the 2D side-scrollers would have. Even though they actually did implement them into it, too. That's just the only thing is it's first-person. Not that I hate it. I actually really love Metroid Prime. I think I might have mentioned that already. Uh, but, like, second one, man. Like, who the hell thought about giving beam weapons ammo? That's, like, stupid right there. I remember this was like my, my dad had bought me this game and when and, oh because my dad's favorite game series is the Metroid series and um, yeah so I managed to convince him to buy me this game way back in 2004 when I was like I think I was in like fourth or fifth grade at the time and I think we could skip things if we just like shoot down here but like that just makes life harder on us later so I'm gonna go up here and yeah, as I was saying, my dad had bought me this game and it was officially my second Metroid, which I probably mentioned like, I don't know, four or five times by now. And the thing is that I, I had a big problem with the first Metroid when I was like only 10, because I would be really, really scared of it. Like, really scared. Because like, I had never played a first person shooter game before and I'd never played a Metroid game at that time either, so at the same time the things were conflicting. And I was seeing more aliens that I thought were really scary in first person and like the she gods. The first time I ever saw those, I fucking like I was so scared. Like my dad was even like, Why are you scared? You just gotta keep going through here and keep doing these things and I was like, No, no, I can't do this, fuck this, I'm scared. Of course they didn't say fuck this to my father, but like that's what it felt like I wanted to say. Gotta love this Metroid music, man. Once you hear it, you know an adventure has started. Oh, right, shit. Just ignore that. Can't do anything there until the end. And the door even locks as we exit to make sure we never come back until we're finished. Uh, I think this is where we fight that thing. Yep. No charge beam. Fuck you. There we go. Probably gonna get wrecked in this game. It's been so long since I played it. I like leaving that room with the touring and stuff like gray so that I remember, oh yeah, I haven't gone there yet and that's where I need to go when I finish the game. So yeah, so I end up going there. Yeah, I mean, I always liked how the Chozo statues, like, sit there. And I remember, like, I actually, like, 
haven't played a lot of old games up until now that I was actually like older because when I was a kid I never really had access to any of these so Super Metroid the first time I ever experienced that was like two three years ago when I was like 18 or, or when I when I was 18 or 17, that was the first time I tried out the game. Yeah. I'd never, like, even been able to try it before until then. <clears throat> and it's an awesome game. <clears throat> I'm not gonna, like... Eh. Fuck. Oh, wait, yeah, I can't go up there. Save stations through here. I don't think I need that anytime soon. So yeah, I'm just gonna run through here, get this stuff, oh yeah, I remember as a kid, like sometimes I would just ignore that boss that's running around in the ceiling, and then I wouldn't have the charge beam because that's where you get the charge beam, and I would always forget to get it again. The good thing is he appears later on if you miss him here, and I probably will miss him because I'm nothing special, uh, like for now at least, who knows, I might like change things you want to wait until he opens his ah shit come on yeah no shit I keep thinking my jump button is my shooting button oh it's gone damn it I didn't get to kill it. See? I think if you exit the room and come back in, it's there. I'm not sure. No. Gotta, like, leave the whole area and then come back. Shit. Aw, oh, come on. I just... Oh, my God. R is to fucking switch... Switch to your missiles. And I forgot that. And I pressed it instead of L to fucking aim at a diagonal angle. Shit. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. I suck at this game. Oh my god. Why can't. Why couldn't I do that earlier? God. I suck at this game. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, no, fuck. Stop. Give me things. <laughs> my god, my god, my god, I got to... <laughs> Fuck! I keep... I keep trying to aim up diagonally with the L button, and I keep accidentally pressing the R button and shooting a missile. I think I could go down here, but I don't. I think I need bombs for that. Go in here, and then just shoot. Some people might think it's better to use missiles. I, however, don't want to waste them. And you get a missile tank if you go here. I don't know if there's something else here. Oh, yeah, I don't have bombs. All right. This is why you want the long beam, so you don't have to deal with this damn thing, so you can shoot it without it attacking you. Because if you get too close, like, the things will start coming at you. Plus, the long beam is just helpful in general. So it's like, if you're speedrunning, you definitely don't want to, like, get not get that this beam. Unless someone already doesn't get it, in which case I'll just shut my mouth. Can I break this? No, I need bombs. Shoot here, get that rocket. This asshole's not getting away from me this time. Ow. No, no, shit. Whatever. Alright. Charge beam! Love the charge beam, man. 
so awesome. Metroid Prime, it's a tractor beam. Oh god, this is making me want to play Metroid Prime now. I like how, I liked how in Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 1 you could connect Fusion and get like the Fusion suit. Like, I didn't like it. Like, at all. Like, I like the thought of it. The whole, oh cool, you can run around in first person Metroid Prime as the Metroid Fusion suit. Why I didn't like it? Because like, I don't know. It just felt weird. I like the way the the suits look in Metroid Prime on their own. I don't, I don't really like Fusion's rendition of them. <clears throat> Cause like the Phazon suit's an awesome black sleek color, and then when you get the Metroid Fusion suit, you're just orange. And well, yeah, it's not cool. It's not cool. I think there's a map over here. Unless I'm wrong. and now we have the whole layout of this face. I think if I can make it all the way to the top, I can get the Varia suit, or Varia suit. I don't know what it's actually called. So yeah, don't quote me on pronunciation things, because I've never been able to get that stuff right for anything. Like, Kremia or Kremia and Majora's Mask? I can't get her name right. I don't know. I've always called her Kremia. And then some one day I heard... Like John Tron color camera, Kremia, and I was like, "What?" Yeah. Is it complete? Time to move. I'm gonna chow shit. Stop. And if you have a charge beam loaded up and he's just somersaulting, you could just blow up an enemy on on complete impact, without any damage to you. Love that shit. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah. Time to get me some bombs. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, look at that. I already got quite a few stuff. That's nice. I like that. That's alright by me. Uh, there's like a missile back here. Yep. And if I can get this right. I'm not very good at bomb jumps, especially not after it's been so long. <laughs> especially in like in Metroid Prime, I just tend to put like a shit ton of bombs down until I finally get to where I want to be. And this isn't that hard the thing to solve. You just gotta blow this up here because the doors are locked, and then let these things jump on you and land bombs so that they don't kill you, and then they die, and the doors open. That's how easy that is. So yeah. I'll just save, and I'll see you guys next time, I think. Save complete.